The bird dog circuit. Over the past 12 months, tournament hunters have spanned the country with their dogs in search of one title, one trophy that defines a career. Entering every event they could handle, the hard work has finally paid off, and the Dog of the Year title's within reach. We are coming to put that dog in the best possible chance of winning. This is not about anything except for that four-legged animal. I've been working all year to run this dog just to get here. It's been a long season, but Blaze is in, and it's awesome. We're just gonna go out and put a show on for the crowd. It's been a fun ride to get here to play. It's a do or die situation. These guys don't have an option. The Bird Dog Circuit Dog of the Year Championship Week is here. And for all chasing history, victory is finally within reach. This season on Bird Dog Wars, we've watched as competitors put it all on the line to qualify for this year's Dog of the Year Finals. RJ Tooney and Blaze qualified, as did Bernie Birkenholtz and Puckett. 12,000 miles on the road, almost 200 hours of travel time, just so we could play in this runoff. Here we are. We made it. Now it's go time. Many competitors worked extremely hard to get here. Hey, we made it. We came a long way to do this. We're ready. Today is the day. We got to do it today. If we don't do it today, there is no tomorrow. I'm pumped and amped, and my dogs are pumped and amped, and we trained our asses off to get here. This is the day I wanted to be here, and uh, we got to make it happen. And for several who qualified, the difficult season took its toll. We travel a lot of miles chasing this dog deer deal. My truck's a year and a half old, I already got 70,000 miles on it. For the Lecker Vaughn team, they fell just short. I'm not really happy that we're not in a dog of the year runoff. We didn't have as good a game plan this year on how we were strategically gonna do this, but next year we already made our plan. We came up a little short this season, but we'll be back next year, ready to rock. <laughs> And while Jerry Brost and Craig Steinbach are clearly the favorites to win, over the long, busy season, there are several qualified competitors we haven't quite got to know yet. Uh, a little nervous. You gotta have a good dog to be here. This is a big deal. It's a privilege to compete for Dog of the Year in the BDC. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go out, we're gonna pound it, we're gonna grind it out, we're gonna go fast. When you pull up on that hillside and you see all these pickups and all these spectators, it's such an adrenaline rush that, I mean, it's almost unexplainable. And while many are anxious and excited, one competitor in particular is feeling the pressure of the big day. I'm Mike Wallace from Shawnee, Kansas, and today I'll be running my dog Versace and Dog of the Year. Seems like it's never ending. They started about 4.30 this morning. Competition doesn't start until 10 or so, and we'll be busy right up until then. Got nine dogs in the truck and trailer. Make sure we got everything for lunch, things to drink. Come on, let's go party. Come on, let's go party. I usually throw up. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. At some point between now and when I run, I will throw up. Just nerves. We've got two options. Either we win or we lose. Am I nervous? Yeah, I'm extremely nervous. Oh, my glasses are fogged yeah. up, so that ought to tell you I'm nervous enough. Uh, when I look at today's lineup, um, I see the players that I wanted to be when I first started. The Craig Steinbachs, the Bernie Birkenholtzes, you know, those were all the guys that when you showed up to a tournament, those are the ones you wanted to beat. And all I could do was think that maybe someday I would be on the same level and now here we are competing against them for Dog of the Year. Today is the day, is Dog of the Year. We've been playing all year for this day. 
These dogs are our children. People get up and go to wrestling tournaments, national tournaments. They go to basketball national tournaments. They go to volleyball. We are here for the bird dog tournament. We win or we lose, but losing's no option. <laughs> <coughs> When I get to that gate today, I mean, there's going to be 5,000 things going through my mind. Did I load my gun? You know, is the dog ready? You ready to go? And then you cut them loose, and it's just kind of like tunnel vision. You just, you just go. Bird Dog Wars is presented by Electronic Shooters Protection providing shooters with state-of-the-art electronic hearing protection since 1994. Loyal Dog Food, with grain-free choices at an agricultural store near you. Garmin, dog tracking, training systems, and the Verb Action Camera. CZ USA, protect, hunt, compete. And Dogs Unlimited and Thunderstick Lodge. So before the season even starts, we have to prepare these dogs for the events that we're going to travel to throughout the year. Most of the positive response we get from the dogs comes from working with our Garmin products. When you watch the show, you see a lot of good things from the dogs. You see dogs healing at the line. You see dogs listening to the whistle. You see dogs making good retrieves. And you see a great bond with the owner. We don't have time to show you everything I've learned over my 20 years in the business. But what I can show you is the results from using Garmin devices. All the way from a young age of when they're a puppy, we use this product to be able to communicate with our dog when they're at our side or at a distance. And we can accomplish this from the foundation we created with our Garmin products. As hunters arrive, heavy fog has settled in on the Pheasant Bonanza Hunt Club, host to this year's Dog of the Year event. So I get to go last night about 5 o'clock, loaded up all the dogs, pulled in about 2 a.m. Daylight savings time, we lost an hour, so yeah, I'll be drinking a lot of coffee today. <laughs> you know, once this fog clears out, there's plenty of moisture in the air, you know, dogs shouldn't have any problems. We've thought about this long and hard, the whole drive up here, man, what it's going to take to win, what we need to do to win. Now we're mentally prepared to win, now we just got to do it. I'm really nervous. Last time we did this, kind of a rough go, but hope it's better today. Hey, we made it. We came a long way to do this. We're ready. When I first started, I used to be intimidated. I think they're going to be intimidated by us and this dog. So. I got my game face on, and so does my daughter and my dog. We're ready. My first time in the Dog of the Year competition, my dad called and asked if I'd run Sawyer because we helped train him, and he's my half my dog too. A little nervous, so it's going to be a long day waiting. <laughs> it's what you've worked for all year. It's uh, just intense feeling inside. Get this far. It's the Super Bowl of the bird dog world. Mother Nature's not really cooperating with us that well. It's super foggy right now. The area where the dog of the year is going to be running, it's, it's kind of down in the valley, um, so it's super, super thick. We're looking at a one to two hour delay, which is always a little stressful because we've got 19 competition runs we need to get done. Competitors gather into the morning meeting with the entire event at risk of cancellation. No visibility for safety reasons. The fog's in too heavy, we just can't shoot right now. Uh, it's hurry up and wait mode we're kind of in right now. We gotta wait for the fog to burn off. You got butterflies of anticipation. It's just 15 minutes to your life, but it's really important 15 minutes. Hopefully the weather gets better and uh, hold the eighth run, so we're gonna be toward the end of the day. And the only bad thing about being the last one, now I got nerves all day long. So now, all the competitors can do is wait and hope conditions improve. This fog is killing us. Anxious to make things happen and, and now we're on standby. The worst part of this whole game is waiting in between everything. 
Every time we come out here, it's a mixed bag. You get a blizzard, you get this. Last time we had 60 mile an hour winds, you never know in Nebraska, I guess. It's crazy. If fog doesn't lift soon, there'll be no time to run all the dogs, and the event could be canceled. Here we are two and a half hours later after the meeting, and Mother Nature is not cooperating. We don't start moving pretty quick. It's gonna get pretty dark. I know the dog can smell the birds, but we still need light to be able to shoot and retrieve. This just ain't working. When we come back, will the heavy fog lift? Will Mike Wallace, RJ Tooney, and others finally get their shot at fame? Or will this season's Dog of the Year event be canceled? Be sure to get your Bird Dog Wars apparel at dogsunlimited.com slash birddogwars. Now, back to the action. As you can see, this is kind of what's got us delayed. You can't even see our field. For safety reasons, we can't have people out there. And they gotta be able to see their partners, you know, in the doubles, and right now we just have no visibility, and that's what's delaying our start. Everybody was kind of pumped up this morning, you know, and, and now you kind of hit a lull, and for the safety of everybody, you know, we gotta what, let this fog lift and be out of here. So it's 11.20 and we are still in fog delay. Uh, we're trying to debate now if we wait until tomorrow to start and finish or if we are gonna have enough daylight to get some of this accomplished today. Time will tell, I guess. I'm from Nevada and we don't get fog out there very often, so it's a different experience for us anyway. This is just a heavy fog and there's no wind. There doesn't seem to be much sunshine, so for this to be gone within an hour, I would say would be pretty ironic. I think they're probably gonna have no choice but to cancel this for today. For those who spent the entire season qualifying, this situation is tragic. Lady Luck was on my side this morning. Now it's starting to betray me, along with Mother Nature. We ain't turned the wheel yet, been here since seven. It's bad, it's bad news. Probably get pushed off another day here. Then things are gonna start piling up. Best way I know to beat the fog is get the grill out and start cooking them. Bring everybody back inside. Finally, there is a break in the weather, and it looks like the event staff is scrambling to get the competition started. You will be sequestered here. Do or die, this is it. End of the road. I got the butterflies going on. A lot of guys trying to play it down like it's no big deal. That's bull This is a big deal. The Dog of the Year Finals is on, and it consists of both a doubles run and Top Gun singles run added together for a total score. You're not going out there looking for a bullet run. What you want to do is just play the field safe. Cover the whole field. If you can do that and come out clean, you'll be sitting pretty good. Doubles be safe. Top Guns, you got to burn it. Strategy doubles, I mean, it's just like any other doubles run with Alex and myself. You know, we just don't play it safe. We just, we're, we're coming to win and we're not gonna settle for a 10 minute run. The doubles start now. And for Mike Wallace and all competitors, they must have a good double score today or their season is over. One mistake in this and the doubles, you're out of the whole thing. So it's gotta be clean and it's gotta be fast. Uh, strategy wise, I probably have to try to burn it uh, both days. Today is the day, we gotta do it today. If we don't do it today, there is no tomorrow. We're already on the top because we won Dog of the Year last year with Patch, so it's a little bit harder to keep the rain and everyone's gunning for us, so we'll keep that in mind and do the best we can. When you have two runs you're putting together like this, the first run, you can't win the tournament, but you can sure as hell lose it. Drawing the first pointing dog run of the day is Bernie Birkenholtz and Puckett. He's picked his son, Maverick, to be his doubles partner. For me to come out here and run for dog of the year with my son, it's unexplainable how, how much fun that is for me. He's as good a partner as I've ever had. So when I enter the field with him, I feel very confident that we can compete against these other guys. Nobody beats my dog, Puckett. Nobody. Oh, wait a minute. Puckett's still my dog.
Bird Dog Wars is presented by Electronic Shooters Protection, providing shooters with state-of-the-art electronic hearing protection since 1994. Loyal Dog Food, with grain-free choices at an agricultural store near you. Garmin, dog tracking, training systems, and the Verb Action Camera. CZ USA, protect, hunt, compete. And Dogs Unlimited and Thunderstick Lodge. While Bernie and Maverick get started on the pointer side, over on the flusher side, Kyle Kerstetter and Storm get started with the opening day doubles run. I'm gonna be rolling down this hill and with my belly, it's gonna take a lot to stop me. Here, check this out, come on. Here, Stormy, come on. Gotta be in here. Come on, Stormy, find it. A slow start for the Kerstetter team doesn't look promising. Over on the pointer field, Bernie and Puckett notch a clean 12-minute run. In the blind and ready to go is Mike Wallace, partner Brian Bachman and Versace. My nerves have gotten better as the day went on. I'm sure when I get down there and we walk into the line, it'll all start over again. Well, it's go time. Time to put up or shut up. Well, you better shut up and put up and win because it's my dog. It's going to be a long ride home. Yep. Versace. Versace. What the f Back at the flusher field, Kerstetter and Storm go full time and fail to find all their birds. The Dog of the Year finals is underway. And for these hopeful competitors, that 12 month Ready? commitment comes down right. to these final runs. On the flusher side, several teams Here. who followed struggled mightily as well. He smells one. That's awful far, Holly. His back legs are wobbly. I'm not gonna push him any further. Come on, bud. Here, here. Here. We gotta have a bird in here. You got a water bottle? We're missing a bird between it and us and the gate. Tucker, come on, get a bird. And as flushing competitors continued to pound the front half of the field, he's gassed. The hilly area and the lack of released birds in that zone is taking its toll on the dogs. And back to the pointers field, Wallace loads up, disappointed with their finish. Had a little trouble on the gate bird, but he recovered nice from that, and we're in a little bit of a hole today. Buddy. Dog got tired out about 15 minute mark. Uh, I think we only got three, we needed five. Reg, come here, bud. Come here, come on up here. I'm gonna try it in the middle one, Zach. I don't know what to do, man. Well, that means we got two up front then. Give me a son of a gun of a break. Over on the yeah. pointer side, things are going better. If I miss a bird today, it's gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. I will haunt you for the rest of your life if you miss a bird. I'll tell you, it doesn't take long to burn the moisture off and it, then it gets tough, but God, he never wasted a step on that run. He just seemed to be into the wind all the whole way. I'll take it. I think he's sitting good. For the RJ Tooney team and Blaze, they started out strong. But the run didn't pan out as planned. Blaze goes full time. Sun comes out right when we go out. Yeah. Son of a gun. <laughs> 
Next week on Bird Dog Wars, the Dog of the Year titles within reach and the doubles runs conclude. Obviously everybody wants to come out clean today. You take it one step at a time. If you try to win this thing from right now in this doubles run, that's just the wrong mentality right there. We had a really good run. We didn't leave a whole lot of time on the table. Obviously when you make it this far in this type of competition, any of the dogs, any of the handlers that are out there are gonna be tough. Players struggle with their emotions. You don't mind if I say what I really mean, do you? Many do not adapt, and several optimistic teams go down in defeat. For all chasing history, victory hangs in the balance. Stay tuned next week as we conclude the Dog of the Year doubles runs on Bird Dog Wars.